Going back to it, Kai gets upset. He's going to fucking leave, blah, blah, blah. Here comes Captain Savichuk. <laughs> I mean, Captain Savichuk, he had yeah. to come over there and fluff his balls. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. Don't leave. Yeah. Don't don't go home. It's not the first time Chuck's done that either. I know. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm Justin Swanstrom. If you can see, we are in our new podcast room. Uh, my buddy Danny, he's down here from Michigan. He put this top on for me in like what two, three minutes? I yeah. think I think you and your boy knocked it out. Like I'm you a just, master, a couple cuts and threw Perfect. it on. It's beautiful. We're getting a granite top that's going to go on top of this deal, but uh, they weren't able to come pull measurements till the end of this weekend and come put the top on next week. Man, so, nobody cares about this top. Dude, I'm telling you, I like the top. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this drywall flavor. we're in here today. This is basically going to be our first video. I was actually glad Danny was down here to help me with this deal, finish this part up, and be able to shoot this clip with me. If you've already seen it, uh, we were on Street Outlaws last night where Kai had a, what would you call that? Like a meltdown? Meltdown? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, tem temper tantrum? Had had a whole lot of things going on. Uh, he 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 called me a snitch. I got called a Democrat by Lizzie. He threatened to quit. Um, I think I think that was it. I think Team Nola completely hates me. But at the end of the day, I really don't care. So that's what this video is going to be about. We're we're literally going to go through and basically tell my side of the story. I'm going to tell both sides, and I'm going to let it all out there because. If you know me and you watch my channel, and Danny, he watches it a lot, we really don't care over here. Mm. We, ju we just say what we want. People that don't like it, they just got to either agree to disagree, but they're still going to watch it. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into today. Um, I'm liking the way these things sound. This is our first video, so go ahead and talk real quick. I love how I sound. <laughs> This podcast may be, <laughs> it, may, it may be a little struggle the first couple of videos, but I promise we'll get better. We even got K2 behind the camera. Hey. K2 in the house. You back there. Yeah. That dude's higher than giraffe pussy back there right now. You know how tall that is? It's pretty tall. It's pretty tall. It's pretty tall. Dab will do you. Kyle, Kyle's in a whole nother world right now. <laughs> Kyle does. Kyle Kyle has been great. Uh, he's been a great part to the team and bringing him on this year, and he's going to race with us again next year. Um, Thank you, Kyle. We're not talking about Kyle. We appreciate who, you, Kyle. Who are we talking about today? Swan Gang. Justin. We're, we're talking about Kai Kelly. Oh, Kai. My buddy. I got gotcha. you. Why is Kai always... Why does he always quit every time things don't go his way? Man, I don't know. Let's got, pack this shit up. Every time. <laughs> every time he's packing this shit up, putting it away. I got I got to get with my son. I, he can't be quitting like that. I hear you. So, if if you watch the video, you'll see that we get into this uh, confrontation, little argument, mm. um, a dispute, mm. something like that. Danny, you watched the show, did, right? I did. Did you see me... First part of the episode where I said that if Kai accepts Jerry Bird's call out, that he's not going to get no points. I heard it. So I saw it. Loud I, and clear. I said it right there, right? Yeah, loud and clear. Like, like you, everybody heard it. Not, and everybody it, it knows that. Everybody knows the rules. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah. Well, according to some, they did not know the rules. That's surprising. This far into the season you had, already. You had Murillo. Birdman, we're like the seventh or eighth race into the season. Uh, I have Kyle pull it up. I don't, Kyle, what what race number was that? There was five races left, so whatever that is. Yeah, there was five. So that was race number ten. So ten races in, and people still don't know the rules. You want to know why I know the rules? Because you read them. Because I read them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with that kind of money that's invested, but, I would but, think you would but, read them. But it is, yes. There's a lot of money invested, and, and I wanted to make sure I fit in within the rules. But when that whole deal went down with Chuck Seisinger, mm. 
I told myself that I could have DQ'd Chuck with everything that was going on um, because he was outside the rules, but I didn't. We, we let him go on a race. I talked to my dad. We, we licked our wounds. We went on to the next track. But I... What happened? Just give me a fre- refresher. So when me and Chuck went up there and ran, mm. uh, him and, you know, 405, mm. uh, they decided they wanted to play some games. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I already knew he was going to guess the light, but mm-hmm. it took him like four and a half minutes to stage the car. He's supposed to get two. You're supposed to only get two. Right. So um, after that race, I hit up, you know, the higher ends, and I said, you know what? I want you all to send me the rule book because I am going to read it. I got a lot of miles to travel. Dad was driving the rig at the time. I sat over there in the passenger seat, and I just read. Mm. It took me a little longer than I thought it would because, you know, I'm not the best reader. But uh, I read, and I read again. And then I went over, and I read even more. Mm. So I knew the rule book inside and out, front to back. Well, with that being said, I found that they changed something from our first season. So you used to, if you ran and hurt your car, wrecked your car, did whatever – you were able to go borrow a car. It didn't matter what round it was in right. because it didn't matter what car you raced in. It was the person driving the car. Well, problem with that is you had 405, you had Texas, you had a lot of people that would go rent, you know, minivans and mm. go get yeah. a smart car or a golf cart so their, yeah, their teammate that. could get some free points. So me reading the rules, you know, I said – it says in the rules that whatever car you start with on Friday, because this is a two-day event, Friday and Saturday, whatever car you start with on Friday, you have to finish with on Saturday. So, for instance, I drive the white Lexus prenup. I start on Friday. I have to race that car Saturday, and I have to finish that car Saturday. If you hurt the motor on Friday and you're not able to run Saturday – you just have to go home. You're not allowed to go rent a vehicle. So that's what happened. Jerry and Daryl, both, they burnt the motor up Friday night. I don't know what they had going on. They were punching the keyboard too hard, and they grenaded the engine. Well, come in Saturday, I heard rumors that Jerry wasn't going to be able to make the round. So me being a good friend, even though Kai said that we ruined a friendship and all that, I thought I was being a good friend by letting him know in the driver's meeting that if he doesn't race his car because it's in the rule book, that he does not get the points. Am, am I still with you? I'm, yeah, I'm with you. So you're not lost right now. No, I'm just reliving. There the seems like there's a there's a lot of people that seems to yeah. be lost. Yeah, and I don't think I'm I don't think I'm 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 saying it any wrong or. If you know how to read or if they know how to read out there, they can read the rule book as too. Correct? Yeah. So, when I said you're not going to get the points, Bobby Ducati walked right over there to me and he's like, shh, it's okay. Uh. I get it. But listen, Kai is going to let Jerry and them borrow his spare motor to put it in their car and then he's just going to putt down the track. With that being said, that gives Kai the free points, but as long as they drove their car, because in the rules it says, if you do a call out, your guy that called you out has to make it to the finish line under his own power in his car that he starts with on Friday. Don't matter the motor. Don't matter the motor as long as it's the car. He could have went out there and fucking Flintstoned it for all I care. Mm -hmm. He just needs to make it under his own power. Well, so Bobby come up to me and he goes... Kai's going to let him borrow his spare motor. He's going to uh, go ahead and put it in the car, and he's just going to put down the track. I looked at Bobby, and I said, that is totally allowed. That was right at the driver's meeting. Right at the driver's meeting. Yeah. Right after that, I said. So Bobby heard you say that. They, they, the whole team heard me say that. Then Bobby came up to you and told you that. And then Bobby come like he when yeah. I said, so you're not going to. They acknowledged gonna, it. They, they acknowledged tried to get away it. with it again. Later. And they tried to come up to me. And I literally said in the driver's meeting, I said, don't take that call out. You're not going to get the points because that was the friend side of me. I have learned a lot this year and learned that you don't have a whole lot of friends out there. Mm -hmm. So that was the friend side coming out in me telling Kai, please do not take that race because you're not going to get the points. So Bobby come over there, told me, hey, we're going to put down the track. I said, okay, he gets the points. That's how it is. Well, here comes up the next round. Um, 
I see Kai and him up there. Uh, Kai is getting ready. I'm waiting to see Jerry and them bring their car up. I see Jerry and them up there in the staging lanes. And I'm sitting back there by my car, and I don't see a car up there. So you know what? I'm I'm a little curious at this point. I, I, if he was just going to putt down the track, no big deal. Uh-huh. Now, if Jerry didn't show up at all, Kai gets no points. But I knew they weren't going to go out like that. So then I see this uh, like little match car type deal. He just comes rolling up in the staging lanes, little little stock, like a, what, what do they call them things? Like a, I don't know, like a little Hyundai. It was just a little stock car. They went down the street. A rental car. Yeah, a little rental car. Huh. So he actually came in the lanes with that. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was going to use. He was going to borrow a car yeah. to be able to drive it down the track. So I went up and told Daryl and Jerry. I said, uh, I said, what were y'all thinking by this call out? And they go, uh, what do you mean? They thought you go. He, Daryl and them both told me they were like, "Well, we thought it was pretty funny, and we're we're chasing the championship." I said, "I get it, but you're not going to get no points." Well, why don't we get no points? Everybody act like it was all shocked. Now, mm. I don't understand why people were shocked because you should already know the rules because we're the tenth race in. You should have read the rule book. So I had to let them know why they're not going to get the points because of this whole deal. So then they get mad, but they understood once the rules were. Uh, read out to them by the race master, you know, uh, Booster GT. Mm-hmm. He read the rules out to them, and basically they understood it. Well, then we had to go break the news to Kai. So me, I my dad has always taught me and raised me that whatever I believe in, I stick behind. And and I've always been like that. I'm I'm the same person on camera as I am off the camera. I think I've hung out with you enough, and you mm-hmm. could say the same thing. I mean, I like to just have fun, but you have to be within the rules. If I'm outside the rules, wouldn't you call me out? Absolutely. Just like I would call you. I don't care if you're Stevie Fast. I don't care if you're fucking John Force. So we went over and tell Kai. Kai has this big, what do we call it? Con- conniption fit, meltdown. Temper tantrum. Yep. Temper tantrum. Thank you, Kai. Yeah, thanks, Kai. So uh, has this big uh, temper tantrum. and It was rough. I felt sorry for him. I'm going to fucking quit. His feelings were so hurt. I'm going back to the trailer. <laughs> Take the wheelie bars off. Guys, we're we're going home. We're all the way out in fucking Arizona. We're, we're, we're fucking. I'm 40 hours away. Yeah. Kai's 27 hours away. He's going to tell the team. How embarrassing. We're just going to load up. We're going yeah. home. Yeah. All right, why do you do that? Don't know how to deal with his uh, emotions. I this guess. ain't the first time he's done that, right? This, no. Uh, I've actually had a couple drivers come up to me that day and were like, he does this every year. Well, he did this with Chief. He did this last year during No Prep Kings. He, he, it's just something he does. Wow. I don't think he learned how to fully be a man yet. I hear you. So, now he he's all upset. And, uh, and I get it. I understand why he's upset. But. He should have just drawn out of the bag like a man. Shouldn't have tried to get the easy five points. So now he's upset. So now we're in this little uh, battle going on. Basically, I told him that he could run it. And let me let me clear this up. If I wasn't his friend, this is how it could have went down. And I feel like if other racers read the rule book, especially the 405 guys, they would have called this shit out. But if I would have let Kai make that pass against Jerry and Daryl and then protested them at the other end, he would have been DQ'd. And Mm -hmm. then he would have been forced to go home. And what you could have done. I could have done that. You could have done. I called him out before it just to let them know because I wanted to wait. If Jerry and them would have brought their car up, we wouldn't have had none of this go on. But Mm -hmm. they didn't. They came in a fucking Hyundai. Like we were in. Were they they really? If Let's say you didn't do the protest and they actually pulled up there with a Hyundai. Do you think that would have been allowed to go down? Because that nobody else has brought borrowed cars this year, right? Not this year. Right. In the past... Yes, past past right, season. Last year, but we're already talking but about the rules have changed. In. Now we're ten races in, yeah. but nobody's been in this situation yet. So I, they thought I, they thought the they rules. Could, I thought so too. Yeah. I know I read the rules. Yeah. I knew I knew what I was allowed to do and what I wasn't allowed to do. Mm-hmm. So going back to it, Kai gets upset. He's gonna fucking leave. Blah blah blah. Here comes Captain Save a Chuck. I mean. <laughs> 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 Captain Save Chuck, he had yeah. to come over there and fluff his balls. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. Don't leave. Yeah. Don't don't go home. It's not the first time Chuck's done that either. I know. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, whole nother team. Like, I 
I'm sure Ryan was back there in the background, like, go yeah. home. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. So, see ya. Go ahead. But, you know, Chuck, <laughs> Chuck was over there fluffing his nuts. And uh, he decided to go make his pass. Or, no, no, before he made his pass, let's get into the whole Marilla situation. I apologize, guys. Yeah. So, you know, Kai, Kai had his little uh, temper tantrum, and he said, well, if I'm going to have to go by the rule book, that means everybody needs to go by the rule book. Yeah. Which is true. This is true. Everybody that races in the Invitational, that is a professional place that we race Absolutely. at. Absolutely. Should go by the rule book. So now talking about Murillo and Birdman, they are two Team Texas cars. Very fast cars. They put in just as much work as everybody else. It also reads in the rules that you're not allowed to test or do any kind of appearances within two weeks of the event. So if the event is on Friday and Saturday, you are not allowed to be at an appearance or at that track testing two weeks prior. Or within 200 miles. Or within 200 miles. Right. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? Like, you understand that. Yeah. You don't even run the fucking deal. It's for the air temperature and... But I'm saying, you don't even run it. And just me telling you right now, you understand that. I think most people understand it. They were just trying to get away with it. I agree. So, they were testing... Dude, they were testing all the way up till fucking Thursday. Like, when we were rolling into the pits... They weren't even trying to hide it. They weren't even trying to hide it. But they also said they didn't know, which they may not have. Wasn't it the beginning of the episode... That 405 was talking about someone was cheating. Wasn't Chuck talking about they were cheating? They Because they knew exactly what it is. And I right. knew it too. Right. But, again, like I said that day, them guys were fucking 10, 11 spots behind me. I don't care about anybody behind me. I only cared about Kai because me and him were right there running for the championship. Sure. And what people are going to understand is, is my little strategy, and it really wasn't a strategy. I just called him out on being wrong. But that five points changes everything going into these next couple races that people are soon are going to find out. But with Murillo and Birdman testing all the way up to fucking Thursday, so rolling into the event, Kai said, well, if I'm going to have to go by rules, everybody has to go by rules. Mm-hmm. So then you know what he did? Yeah. After he just got done saying, Justin snitched on me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to snitch on everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means... That's so dirty. He goes... He goes, I can't. Oh, I think he called me a cocksucker. That cocksucker in Swanstrom. Yeah, they blurred it out. He, sh- he snit. We don't blur it over here on Swan Talk. No. We allow it. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to snitch on everybody else. Yeah. That's just what he said. Yeah. So then he calls Marillo. What a great thing to do, guy. Marillo and Birdman out because they were testing within the 200 miles two weeks prior. They tried to call Justin out and they said, You were testing here too. But you know what I told him? I was here three weeks prior mm. because you know why? read the rules <laughs> pretty <laughs> yeah. pretty fucking self-explanatory yeah. says in the rules yeah so uh so going forward kai gets done with his deal he uh he suits up in his car he goes and makes his pass and then he gets down to the other end and he tries to do the whole that's not me i'm not a snitch after he already snitched yeah that's like that's like going to rob a bank and then telling the cops you're not a robber <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. It's just, I was so frustrated with everything going on. I decided to rob it. Yeah. So it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, uh, um, he tried to lift the protest. Well, then here comes daddy Pat. I'm not letting the protest lift. We're going to go ahead and protest it. Lizzie, tell him you want to protest it. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie, you better tell him you want to protest it. And Lizzie's over, uh, 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 Lizzie, tell him you want to protest it. <laughs> so like, like, it was more like a forced thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't know what happened going yeah. on. Yeah. And then they like tried to blame it on me. Kai yeah. was over there like Murillo Birdman, be mad at Justin. He's the reason why y'all got protested. I'm not the fucking reason you got protested. Y'all didn't race within the rules. So Birdman and Murillo are like mad at me. They're like pissed off at me. And like I tried to tell them. Y'all are outside the rules. I don't know why they got mad at you. That's what I said. I don't understand why they were. But, but like I said, I don't care about y'all because y'all are like 10, 11 spots behind me. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. But I told Kai and I even told Pat, y'all protested them because y'all wanted to protest them. Yeah. I'm a firm believer when you're mad at somebody. The, I always hear the term, when someone drinks alcohol and they're drunk, their true emotions come out. Mm. Have, have you ever heard that? Like, Oh, oh yeah. People, people act how they really are when they're drinking. So if you say something out of line, if you say something bad, 
you you have to stand behind it, especially with me. I tell people all the time, I don't care if you're drinking. I don't care if you're mad. If you say something, that's how you feel. You'll never catch me saying anything out of line as in because I don't feel that way. Now, if I feel some type of way about somebody, I'm going to let them know. And whatever I say on camera is the same thing I'll say off camera. So it, it makes it pretty easy. But they tried to put it off on me that the reason why they got protested was because I protested. That don't make sense. It doesn't. No. They got protested because Daddy Pat and Forcible Lizzie decided they wanted to protest. I don't understand why they protested. Everybody needed to run by the rules. That, that, was, that, that was that whole get mad deal um, with going on. Another thing, I even came up with a solution. This is going to really blow your mind. I came up with a solution before even Kai made his pass. So hear me out here. I protested Kai, so that means that Jerry's not allowed to make a pass, so he gets a buy run, right? They protested Mike Marillo and Birdman. They are eliminated DQ'd, so their two drivers get a buy run that they were racing. I pulled chips and had to pull my teammate, Rich Bruder. Kai mouthed off and said, why don't we run first round? And I said, you know what? That's a good idea. Why don't we? Me and you are up there in points. I'm okay with running you first round. I either win or I either lose. Mm-hmm. He goes, why don't we run for five grand? And I said, sure. Bet. Like he thought five grand was going to shake me in my boots or something. Mm-hmm. So I come from a grudge racer uh, background. So I said, you know what? Let's run for five grand. The only way we can make this work, I said, why don't we uh, basically switch switch spots? Let me and Jerry switch chips. Basically, let's me and Kai run first round for five grand and to see who goes on to the next round. Jerry now runs Rich Bruder, which is a Team X member. And because he can't run them, Rich basically just gets a buy. Marillo and Birdman are allowed back in and everybody runs their race. So everything goes to normal. The only two people that switch is me and Jerry. I'll run Kai first round. I'll run him for the $5,000, and we'll see who, who wins. Now, all of a sudden, there was a bunch of backpedaling, and they didn't want to do that. After I accepted the call out, I accepted the $5,000 cash, I worked it up to where all the drivers, 405, Team Texas, California, everybody agreed to have Marillo, Birdman back in the show, let them run the race because – I, did they deserve to get DQ'd? Of course. They were outside the rules. Mm-hmm. But they drove far just like we did, and they're like fucking 10, 11 spots back, so they really didn't have a chance. And I don't I don't mean that to be disrespectful. That's just truthful. So uh, that was going to be the whole thing. At first, Kai was all about it. Let's do it. He's all fucking pumped up. You thought he just shot a, took a shot in the ass or something. Like, he was ready to go. And then it came to reality. His team got with him. Hey, that's not a good idea because – I was running very strong, and uh, I feel like I would have took him out, and I would have took the $5,000 cash home. But he didn't want to do that, so then they gave us one final decision. They go, are you protesting Kai? And they thought I was going to lift it, and I said, yes. I mean, I'm standing behind what I believe in. Five points is five points. That comes down to $100,000 at the end of the year. So they said, okay, well, that means that Kai is going to make this solo run. He's not going to get his points. And they asked Kai if he's going to protest Birdman and Marillo. And you know what he said? Yes. So now Birdman and Marillo are, like, mad at me because they can't race and everything's going on. But long story short, I feel like I wasn't in the wrong. They shouldn't have got caught outside the rules. Kai shouldn't have got caught outside the rules. I mean, you watched the show. I mean – even on the show, the show is edited and it's ran through, but it was still self-explanatory that they were outside the rules. I mean, what's your take on it? I mean, they it was plain and simple. This in the first episode of this season, they tried the same stuff, and I remember them saying, "You can't do that." Because, I remember Chuck saying, "You won't get the points. You won't get the points." In the very first episode, and they forgot about that. The first race, so we're ten races in. Nobody has used borrowed cars. Everybody knows the rules, and they just got caught. So, 
I mean, I don't think Morello should have got screwed, but everybody knew they were there testing because they showed up to go race and they're there testing. So it wasn't, they weren't even hiding. They're testing. No. And they posted it on Facebook. Yeah, and they posted on the internet. I mean, in my in my heart. My take is this, dude. Kai should never brought up Marillo. Because, had nothing to do with them. And Birdman, because he was mad at you. It's like, I'm going to hurt them because I messed up and I got caught. So I'm going to hurt them. And then I'm going to quit and go home. You know, it's like, <laughs> he just doesn't know how to handle stuff. I mean, he's got a little bit of growing up to do yet. And, and listen, and it, and and he did. He 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 beat my ass on the yeah, show. Yeah. Uh, we made it to the semifinals with him. We had just got a big rainstorm coming through. And uh, the track, we just, me and dad, we, we missed the tune-up. And... Kai made it down, and uh, he he was all over the track. He almost went through uh, the center line. He almost took out the cone. Um, yeah, both, there was, we both were struggling on that. Yeah, road. there was a lot, of, and and he was just the better driver at that yeah. time. And I'm not taking that away from him. Mm-hmm. Um, he he won that deal. He went to the finals. He earned that. Mm. But and I I really don't even have to explain it to people. But I just want people to understand both sides of the story, so they can understand what exactly happened. Um, so. With that, with that being said, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in the near future episodes. Uh, I mean, I already know what happens, but I'm not going to talk about it. We're, we're going to do more of these videos, and maybe we'll see how these episodes go. I can tell you that these next five episodes are full of drama. Going to get greasy. It's going to be really, really good. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that happens. I mean, amongst all the teams. And uh, it comes down to the wire at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm happy with how the season's going, with everything going on. I just wanted to clear that up real quick. Um, dude, I can't – I'm amazed at how I sound in this mic. It sounds really nice. Yeah. We should bring more people on, like more guests and everything. Well, I hope so. I think this is going to be a good deal. This is our first video, so it's not the best, but I think I think it's going to be all right. I think you'll be doing just fine. You got anything else you want to put in there? No, I'm just What sleepy. about the show? You're sleepy. Yeah, it's late. Dude, you drank like 24 monsters I today. need another one. <laughs> dude, th- this dude, Kyle. this look dude drinks. Kyle. Look at him. Look at Kyle. This dude drinks more monster. <laughs> Kyle, well, Kyle's just high. I think he's falling asleep. Standing no, no, up. No, no, he's stoned. Look at him. Are you stoned? I mean, I'm probably about six out of ten stoned. Six out of ten stoned. Eight out of ten, 16 out of 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me, Kyle. He's about to fall over yeah. back there. Well, what are we doing this weekend? We're going to Bradenton Motorsports Park this weekend. Where are you at in points right now? We're from tonight last night's episode. So me going forward. You went to the semis, right? So. Did we take Scott Taylor out? That's another one. I'm glad you even brought that up. Scott yeah. Taylor, like we pulled each other third round and he shook my hand at the driver's meeting and the first thing he yeah, says he, say? he says, Sorry about your luck. Oh yeah. Couldn't make that quite out. Yeah, it was, it was, sorry about your luck. Oh, yeah. Like. He's like, so friendly. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, sorry about your luck. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> so anyways, you know what we had to do? I told dad, I said, you know, what? just load it up. Let's go. And we went out there and dragged his ass too. Um, and he's a great guy. I like yeah, Scott and everything. Yeah. But. Super cool. He got his ass beat. And he tried to tell the world that he had shit shooting out of his motor. He had shit shooting out of his motor because he knew he had to run me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the truth behind right, it. Right, right. So uh, I, w- I was glad to be able to smack his ass around a little bit and uh, take another uh, Nola guy out. But moving forward. A lot of respect for him. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like Scott. He's yeah. a great racer and everything. Yeah. And, and we, I like everybody. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my friendship back with Kai. Um, I really don't care. I feel it's, like they use that friendship term quite loosely on loosely the show. Loosely on there, yeah. yeah. It, about as loose as them reading yeah. that rule book. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what's going to have to come down to this. So. I think I think for the next race, which is in Colorado, um, I maybe they need readers or maybe we the need altitude to, is quite thin. Maybe we should read the book to them. Read like the rules. Story time. Them. Story time. Yeah, we'll we have a we'll time. have a group therapy session. We need Brian and we'll read the rules. That yeah, sounds good to me. You are not allowed to test within two weeks and two hundred miles of this event. Yeah. Oh, that was another thing. Did you so, get in trouble? I did not get in trouble. So before Kai, Kai and everybody else tried to call me out, even Birdman. Birdman, he was like, he tried to call you out. He said, well, you got caught testing at the beginning of the season. So this was before I read the rule book. 
it was before the whole Chuck Sy Singer thing went down. We were the second race in. Uh, we had just left Ohio, got our ass beat, uh, uh, second round by Ryan Martin. First race out with the car. Car ran phenomenal, but we got beat by Ryan Martin. I was glad to be able to run against him. But anyways, coming home, me and Dad decided to stop in Orlando before the West Palm Beach race and race. Orlando's like 187 miles away Ooh. from, so you're inside that 200 window, but we didn't know about it. And like Kai and everybody said, oh, we didn't protest him back then, blah, blah, blah. And then they all got on this little kick and they were like, we should take his points away. And I was really? like, well, there's a rumor flying around. So it was like a big rumor. It was like, hmm. we should take his points away because you were testing because I was testing. But this was within, later after you were doing well. Yeah. We're already at race number 10. Okay. We're talk. They're talking about race number two. Okay. So you know what? I, I sat there and I go. Well, Kai, didn't you and Lizzie test before we went to Virginia? Well, yeah. I said, what about Ryan? Did he test before we went to Pennsylvania? Yeah. I go, well, if we're going to take my points away, which I'm okay with, why don't we take everybody's points away? My points was only five points at West Palm Beach. I don't really care about it. Kai won Virginia. That's 30 points that's taken away. Ryan won Ooh. Pennsylvania. Ooh. That's 30 points taken away. Would that be the money taken away too? Well, I didn't even care about it. But For every the guy that won the race? When I called him out on it, everybody's mood changed. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, we don't care about him testing in Orlando. Well, of course you didn't care about a test in Orlando because I'm a firm believer in running by the rules. And if they decided that I needed to be DQ'd or whatever, not a big deal. Everybody needs to go by the rules. But they didn't want to run that no more. That deal went out the window um it was like smoke and mirrors it was kind of thin like the rule book being read <laughs> so I, I i don't know i i just i wanted i wanted to clear the air and just let everybody know what, what we had going on um it, it sucks like i said maybe i'll get kai's friendship back i really don't care um that'll be on his end as in if he wants to be friends, I'm still friends with Kai. I I still respect him. He has pulled for me a lot throughout the years. He has beat my ass. I have beat his ass. Um, we have ran for a lot of money. We have done a lot of stuff together. So, uh, um, I'm still friends with him. Now, if he wants to be friends, that's on him. We'll we'll figure that out. We'll I'm see. sure he'll be fine. I th I think after a while he'll yeah. cool down. Yeah. Um, just right now he just got caught in the gray area. I have to pull my son out of the gray area. I have to let him know that a father's got to be stern and got to let him know that he was in the wrong, you know, cock strong. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, man, I'm still amazed on how we sound in these mics. It's pretty good. I like it. It's sexy. We're going to be down in Bradenton Motorsports Park next weekend. We are going to be running pro not pro mod. I'm sorry. <laughs> pro nod pro nod i'm getting tired right yeah, now it's a little late it's like it's like one o'clock here right it's now we're shooting this day. video guys yeah. we just got done watching the show we've been so busy working on cars and stuff but anyways and, and countertops yeah and countertops we are going to be down there at bradenton motorsports park this weekend running pro mod and with prenup and then we're going to have danny's car there we need to come up with a name for that car it's got to have a name we'll, we'll figure it out yeah we're, we're going to come up with a name actually why don't we drop? let them drop a comment, and we'll let you read the names, okay. and maybe you can come up with something. Because yeah. they came up with prenup. They also came up with child support. Yeah. I mean, those are pretty pretty legend names right there. I tried to call it Marshmallow, but it didn't fly. Nah, I wouldn't do that. That's that's too soft. I know. It's fast Marshmallow. Alimony. I don't know if I can give him that name. That's supposed to be my other car. Yeah, I can't be Alimony. Yeah. I'm still married. <laughs> 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 so anyways guys uh like i said we're gonna be down at bradenton motorsports park this weekend running pro mod we'll have a no time car there uh we got some awesome things happening if you haven't done already or subscribe to the channel uh we got some cool shit going on we got another car being built i'm gonna try to get more people in here on the podcast i'm even gonna get my dad in here we just wanted to clear the air real quick basically talk a little bit about the whole kai kelly scenario um, this is basically where it starts. The whole Justin is a snitch. And this is where the shirt comes from. And if you head on over to www.justinswanshirt69.com, you can pick up your own Justin as a snitch shirt. It's very soft. It fits very well. 
and you can wear it very proud. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. The new car, since you just brought it up, what's the story? You're building a 69 Camaro. I am. For No Prep Kings next year? And there it is on the TV. There it is there on it the is. TV. Is that what it's going to look like? That is what it's going to look like. I don't see any chrome trim on the wheel wells. Don't worry. I'm okay. going to be putting it on there. You see that trophy right there, too? I love it. Ooh, that kind of gives it away for everybody. A sexy beast. What's the story, though? That's for No Prep Kings next year? Yes, it is. And uh, we're going to actually save that for another video. Roger that. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot another video, and I'll answer all the questions so you want curious. about the car. I want to keep this convo just about Kai because okay. there was a lot of people that was on the Internet very, very mad. I had I had over a 1,000 messages telling, screw you, F you, you suck, <laughs> uh, you're a snitch. Well, you um, got the shirt. Yeah, I got the shirt. I even I sent them the I sent them my website. I'm like, yo, buy the shirt. Go buy the shirt. Yeah. Represent. <laughs> and like, talk about owning it, bro. Dude, like, it is bad. Way to handle it. You know, so many people, not, a lot of people won't be able to handle it. Oh, dude, do I it. love it. I love arguing with people on social yeah. media. This is what I do for a living. So I love hanging out and I love interacting with people. There's so many people that have other people that run their social medias. I run all mine. So right. if you ever see me comment, you ever see me respond to a message, it's literally coming from me. And uh, I read everything. I may not be able to respond to everyone. But I read everything, um, so I'm I'm excited about that. Kai, he's just gonna he's gonna cry a little bit right now, but he'll get over it. Everybody needs to tune in next Monday to the Colorado race, though, because that's where the real drama kicks off. Ooh, can't wait! And then we go from Colorado uh, uh, down to uh, Texas. No, we go to Tulsa. I'm sorry, Tulsa got added onto the schedule, so we go to Tulsa. More drama. We go to Texas. Even more drama. Ooh, maybe. We go to Louisiana. It's like massive drama. Really? Like, dude, it's so bad. Like, these next five races is going to be off of the charts. So you're saying we can't miss an episode. We're not missing it. These next five episodes is going to be the best part of the season. Ooh. And every race, like, you know, usually you have, like, one highlight and it's done. Every race is bigger than the last race. Wow. The drama is more drama than the last race. Man, this week was pretty good. I mean, if it's going to get Dude, better than this. Colorado is off the chain. And then we go from Colorado to Texas. Texas gets very good. Tulsa is good. Or, I'm sorry, Tulsa, then Texas. Louisiana's off the chart. And then we finish it off in Bradenton. And everybody's just going to have to watch the show to see what happens. But Five episodes left. Five episodes left. There's a lot of people that's still running for the points. Kai's still mad. <laughs> Scott Taylor still got his ass beat. Um, gracefully, gracefully. Anyways, guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. This is our first deal. Uh, we are a little cranky shaky. right now, shaky, a little bit shaky, a little nervous. Um, but uh, we, we got it done. Maybe we'll get Danny to talk a little bit more. I know I talked about the whole episode, but okay. I wanted to I'm just the wingman. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be able to uh, to be able to tell my side of the story, and and whoever doesn't believe it, I don't care. I, I let it be known on both sides. Um, we won't even get into the whole Lizzie Gap and Kai. Yeah, that. W- should we talk about That's that next week? Lizzie Lizzie beat Kai this week. Lizzie beat Kai this week. Yeah. So, in the finals, that was great. That was a great final. Yeah, Just, I like. Yeah, two, everything the that happened. Yeah, I mean, Kai and Lizzie was, was a great final. It was awesome. It was Musi on Musi, Kai on Lizzie. I mean, I mean that was a great final. So, honestly, whatever you think about it, I mean, I love it. it All right, race. guys, it's about. 1 a.m. right now. Let's go ahead and end this deal out. I will see y'all later. Um, Y'all make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Turn that bell notification on. And we're going to have some more banging videos like this, plus a bunch of content coming from racing, chassis shop, everything, and anything in between. I will see y'all later.